reversal. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, I tell you what, one mistake, and we're gonna see that fire go out front. Oh, come on, quit showing off. This is supposed to be a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before, Taz. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Great reversal. What a counter that was. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. There is no doubt that Batista made a hell of an impact on Raw, Cole. But now that he doesn't have Triple H or Ric Flair watching his back, ah, that's the way to do it. We have a weapon from under the ring. Oh, sweet. Man, what a champ shot. Reminds me of the old ECW days. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for them. He's got his opponent by the barricade. Oh, man, chest first. Right to the security wall. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Paul. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champion in like a year. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he used it for. Tell you what, if his opponent's got to bring his head, he'll get the heck out of there. I think that barricade's about to come into play. Oh man, drop chest first, right off him. You know, there's no doubt that the Undertaker's one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what? Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You really gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Man, you talk about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of put in there. Right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. You might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Paul, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. You know, instead of showboating to the fans, Maybe you should really keep your head to this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off the crowd and use that energy to win the match. He saw that one coming. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, truck... How humiliating to get hit with your own finisher like that. You just don't see action like this every day, Carl. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Look at him, he's just radiating confidence. And he's got a lot to be confident about. Yeah, well, he looks a little overconfident to me, Cole. And that could come back to bite him on a you-know-what. Batista has had lots of success so far, but that's just because his opponents want to let him cycle out. He can't back down from a dude like Batista. I don't think that's the case at all, times. And I think if the sight of a heavily muscled six and a half foot animal like Batista doesn't intimidate you, you'd better have your head examined. Yeah, that's it. Do it again. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I can't 
can't say I am. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Paul? You want to see that everyone wins? So he's putting that weapon to good use here. No doubt. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure he can spare a goal? It sounds like this capacity crowd is something on their mind. But you know what they say, it's not a crime if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. How could the referee have missed that? These superstars have been going hard all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This is the most frustrating thing in the world is when you want to keep fighting, but you know you ain't got nothing left. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. Tell you what. You've got the crowd on your side or against you. It makes a huge difference, believe me. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Under. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, Cole, you know what? Try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this bad boy right down the middle. Well, there you have it, Cole. Two superstars came into the match, and only one of them still is your the winner. What a relief it must be to be able to walk back to that match and win a match like this. Yeah, well, if you lose, you'll have plenty of time to think about what you did wrong.